Let's talk about the dual table. What is the dual table? The dual table is effectively a dummy table. What I'd actually like to do is something which is not really included in the certification course, but to try to make an attempt at explaining why it exists. The reason stems from the way in which SQL works. What SQL does is it selects information from, for instance, a single table and comes back with many rows. The point is you have to select from a database object. This is the idea behind SQL. What happens sometimes is there's no table to select from. Therefore, what Oracle has is a dummy table called dual, which is more or less a repository, a temporary repository, or a te what's called a temporary cursor, if you like, where the information retrieved by the select statement is temporarily placed into the dual table and then passed back to the output, such as SQL plus, from the dual table, as being selected from the dual table. So let's go a little further with this. As it says here, every select statement creates an implicit cursor. What I want to do is more or less read off what is typed in on the screen here so that firstly you can refer back to this text, all these items. Secondly, so that you get a very explicit explanation of why the dual table exists. So every select statement creates an implicit cursor. Every time you execute any kind of SQL code against a relational database, it theoretically creates an implicit cursor. An implicit cursor is a chunk of memory. A cursor is an area in memory allocated for the results of a SQL statement. Think about it. You execute a SQL statement. It goes to a table. It builds what's called a cursor in a chunk of memory, which contains the result of that SQL statement. Since, as we've already said, a select statement requires a source table for the implicit cursor to operate on, and some select statements do not retrieve from any particular table, that dual table becomes a repository for, if you like, an expression result applied to either a single value or a set of rows. The dual table acts as a temporary repository for the results of or the result of an expression, a single expression or a cursor, the area of memory where the results of a table select are placed. The result of that expression is selected from the dual table. So quite simply put, the dual table is really a dummy object placed between input and output in order to cater for the way that SQL works.